Hi, everybody. This is Advocate Lucinda, your empowerment lawyer. You know, I have been an advocate all my life. Even as a child, I was a community activist, advocating on behalf of communities and individuals. I wanted to go to law school because I saw it as a door that I could walk through and really help people who had been wronged on a deeper level. And as an attorney, I've been able to do that. This channel, Pro Se Empowerment Lawyer, was born out of my passion and my experiences as a child advocate. And this channel is here to assist pro se litigants. Let's face it, it's difficult. Yes, it is difficult, but it's doable. And the system, unfortunately, does not favor the pro se. Somebody's got to help them. And that's why I'm here, to provide the pro se with information, give them the tools to help them have a chance to successfully correct the wrong that has been done in their lives. I get many comments and I appreciate the comments because I learn as I'm responding. So thank you. But I want to set the record straight today. The pro se litigant has a right to represent himself or herself. So let's set the record straight. The comments on this channel are intended, I believe, to help the community. And thank you for encouraging each other. And there have been comments made clearly meant to discourage the pro se from representing himself or herself. And again, I believe many of these individuals mean well. And that's okay. You have the right to have your opinion. Then there are some who are just negative like that. However, that number is few, but irrespective of the motive for making the comment, pro se, you have a right to represent yourself. In fact, the United States Supreme Court held that a defendant in a state criminal trial has the constitutional right to defend himself when he voluntarily and intelligently wants to do so. The Supreme Court concluded that the pro se's right to represent himself or herself is implied in the Sixth Amendment. Pro se representation applies to both plaintiffs and defendants in civil cases, which has been affirmed by the United States Supreme Court. It is possible to successfully litigate a case. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. In fact, I've heard from some of you who have been successful, but you know what? You've been successful because you prepared yourself. You worked for it. So yes, it's possible, but you got to work for it. You've got to be willing to climb the ladder. And let me tell you what I mean. Juan Alvarez, an author, said this. The image of a ladder is a 
powerful metaphor for the journey to success. Each rung represents a crucial step on the path, an effort that brings us closer to the top. He states further, the ability to visualize the entire ladder is a superpower that allows some individuals to map out a clear path to success. However, not everyone possesses this ability to the same extent. Some visualize the entire ladder, but know they lack the final rungs, while others can only see the first few steps. This metaphor reminds us that success is not a final destination, but an ongoing process of learning and growth. Now, did you notice what he said? He did not say that not everyone possesses this ability. He said not everyone possesses this ability to the same extent. Some of us have to work a little harder than others to get to the top of the ladder. But eventually, we will all get there if we continue to learn and grow. So, pro se, I am setting the record straight today. Filing a lawsuit is not only your right, but it's doable. Then there are the comments where individuals who are clearly concerned and some frustrated and rightfully so that some people are not able to represent themselves. And my feeling is that the sentiment of these individuals who make these comments is that not everyone can understand or comprehend the laws and the processes associated with litigation. And that's why I'm here to do what I can to help the pro se have access and get access to justice. And there are other platforms out there where professionals like myself are making information available to the pro se. Take advantage of it. And lastly, Juan Alvarez said this. My personal mantra reflects this approach. If I can be part of your ladder to success, count on me. Because really, we are our brother's keeper. Now that's my statement, echoing what Mr. Alvarez has said and what he stands for. And I'm gonna leave a link where you can read his material. It is very encouraging and stimulating. And then there are comments just not grounded in reasons. For example, one commenter said, lawyers bully each other. It is part of the job, more so in court. The commenter continues, is not legal shaming to a degree. Well, let me set the record straight. Bullying is never, never appropriate, even if it's between two licensed attorneys. And to a pro se, it could be legal shaming. So there are five takeaways here. You have a right pro se to represent yourself. Two, be prepared. To be prepared, you are going to have to work hard. Three, seek out help wherever 
you can. Four, reach out to those individuals who you know can help you. You have not because you ask not. Ask. And five, if you are someone who knows of someone, a potential pro se litigant who needs help, guide them to the appropriate source. I am Advocate Lucinda B. M. Power.